Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy, and we're going to start with In the Chapel. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Psalms 105.1. Uh, I'm just feeling really blessed right now, and it's by the grace of God I've gotten through the last month. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, by the grace of God, I'm getting through all this. I sound horrible. My head is full. But I don't really feel horrible. Um, I haven't missed any work or done anything weird. But I am going to go and try and find something to drain all this out. I'm going to go to a pharmacist and say, hey, what's, you know, what, a, a decongestant, but I don't want it all in my lungs. Um, yesterday, it was heavy on my lungs. And I was coughing up stuff. And I'd use some mucinex type stuff. And some it was mucus and sinus pe or whatever and it wasn't helping so i've got to find something that's just going to clear this out because it started with allergies and then the rain moved in so i'm not sure if it's sinuses but the truth is in the last five years i haven't truly been exposed to the public the jobs that i've had are one-on-one -on -one, and i haven't been out and about so yeah it's probably something that I picked up from the public and somebody asked me do you have the creds or is it just sinuses you know at this point I don't know I've had it two days don't know so I just woke up one day and my throat was a little sore um, I gargled with some salt water uh, and then as the day progressed it got worse and the roof of my mouth started to hurt so I've got stuff draining then when I go to sleep, it kind of settled in my lungs and just kind of, you know, because I guess I didn't sleep in enough of a incline or whatever. So, yeah, I got this going on, but it's it's not bad. I sound worse than I am. Um, all right, we're going to start with, we've already done in the chapel, we'll go to in the basket. So I went ahead and I still haven't woven in the ends from that scarf. But I went ahead and, you know, my kits got a little bit behind. And I got this one around the 20th or 20-something. And I went ahead and started. And this is literally the only bit of crochet I've gotten done all week. Um, and it's right here. Uh, it's very stretchy. So, I don't know. It's like really stretchy. As in, they say that's going to be my size. And I'm not a small little person, but yeah. So, I don't know. I might have to take it down a notch. But we'll see. We will see. Uh, oops. Hooked it. The yarn is actually really um, simple to work with. It's not splitty or anything. It's that pipe. I call it like a nylon piping but it's it's that round stuff it's uh, I don't know how to explain it but I call it piping or cord um, but it's really it's it's a cute color the color really pops and summer kiss is the yarn and it's put out by Lions brand and yeah, cotton and polyester blend so yeah I have five balls and I have to make a front and a back and then you stitch them together and they're good so I have started this one I haven't gotten very far it is what it is but I started it I only have the only other two things I have is that geo that I have to pay attention when I'm doing it and I tend to to crochet more at night after I'm home from work that kind of stuff so yeah I need mindless crochets so I still have the lavender and uh, cream colored one poncho that I'm doing and then I have the geo that I'm doing the lavender and cream color was just something that I made up. It's not anything I have anything in mind for, so I put it on the back burner and I'm going to do these. And the reason being is I got my other kit. So I now have June's, which ran late, and now July's. 
Well. And, and I love Mary Maxim. Don't get me wrong. I've tried a lot of um, things I wouldn't have tried. But Mary Maxim sent us a lovely thank you for being patient with us. Okay, so I'm going to start with the kit itself. The kit this month came with, and I pulled this out just because I wanted to see. Um, it's, I've never worked with anything like this. It's, it, it's like the red that's spun together. It's like a four ply, and it doesn't really have any twist to it. But the colors aren't even all the same. So, um, I think this was a cotton too. I'm not finding it now. I'm not finding it, unfortunately. Okay, so it's this. And there's actually two skeins to it. So I have, oops, I have these two. Oh, sorry. So, there's those two balls of yarn that come with this pattern right here. And it's just called the Delicate Shells Crochet Shawl. Um, comes with the chart. And, of course, the instructions. Um, I'll probably just do it off the chart, but because it's super easy off the chart, but... Okay, so that's the actual June kit, or July kit. June was the blue thing. Then, and I pulled this out to see how much red or how dark, I like the, um, as you know, RJ's girlfriend loves red, and I wanted to see, so this is a cotton, and what they did was they sent me as a way to say, Thanks for being patient with us. It's a little summer scarf. It literally is like three row repeat until you get it to be, I don't know. It's like 23 across, just however long you want it, I guess. It says you do the three row repeat until two yards of cotton remain. And then you single crochet into each double crochet and fasten off, weave in the end. So, yeah, it's just a really simple thank you. Um, but we'll see how it works up. I don't know that it's going to have enough red in it for her, so I may have to give it to somebody else. But, let me, and it's just a cotton. So, and this, and it's, it's a muted red. It's not, those, there you go. That's about the true colors. It's a muted red. It's not a pop red, dark red, like I did before for her. So I got two in one this week, and that's a good thing. Now, the other thing that's going on in the, in the basket, on the wheel, whatever, is I've got that drawing going on, and guys, I just, I feel like crap for like two days um and then I have some things going on in the farmhouse and I just didn't get to I was trying to answer people as they entered and um I have it written down and I have two um people already ready and I know how I'm gonna do it if no one else has entered till today okay so I haven't gotten that done because I haven't checked it and I will check it today, but it probably won't post in a video until next week. Um, so I'll have my winners and cut it off today like I'm supposed to. But I won't have it posted in a video because I don't have it done. Okay. Uh, I have been following. I just, the last couple of days, I haven't kept up with it. Okay. Um. I think that is everything. RJ's World. Coop. Oh my gosh. Doing amazing. She goes today to get the last of her stitches out. She's been being ponied and exercising, getting back in shape. 
so that she can get back to herself. When she gets the final stitches out today, we'll know how long she has to wait before RJ can ride her. And of the worst case scenario that he gave us and the best case scenario, we exceeded the best case scenario that the vet thought was going to happen. That's by the grace of God. Guys, I can't tell you how much your mojo and, and good vibes and positive thinking and prayers, it says in the Bible, and, and it, you know, I know there's a version of this for everything that people believe, okay? I, I don't care if you're Christian, I don't care if you, uh, the Quran, Buddha, whatever, okay? Um, I know that like minds coming together, with the power of just speaking it, being positive, this is what's going to happen, and putting it out there. When we come together in a positive note like that, that's the way it's going to happen. There is power in that unity. There is power in that fellowship. There is power in those words. There is power in those vibes. I don't know how it works, but the cosmic universe just works that way. Now, whether it's of God or powers beyond me to see, all I know is regardless of religion or belief, when we come together and we say it and we believe it and we know it, it shall come to pass. Okay? So, we all, you, me, Whoever's watching and, and sent good vibes. Um, I don't care if you just, oh, please, Lord, I hope that goes good. Or I don't care if you bless their heart. Hopefully that'll turn out for them. All of those are good vibes, good joining in unison with us to declare it and have it happen. And Coop, she is a walking testament to it. Okay, um, the vet, if you followed a couple of weeks ago when she went into surgery, the vet came out and he himself did not believe that the tube and everything he'd done was going to take. He thought it would fall apart. He thought it would come undone. He thought she was going to have to start all over to heal. Nope. And it's because a lot of you guys. Okay? And I thank every one of you for that. So, no matter what you believe, what you practice, where your heart is, thank you for putting it out there that Coop was going to be fine. Because she was. And she gets, like I said, last of her stitches out today. And the vet has stated several times over to RJ, I never thought that would hold together. Never thought that would, if any, out of all the ones I've done, I thought that one would be the one to fall apart. Not with you guys on our side. Okay? So, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. But she gets the stitches out today. And then... My favorite cowboy team will be back together again. And they are a team. Um, we raised RJ one man, one horse, one team. Um, Coop only does calf roping. Star is a team roping horse. And it's one man and one horse, one team. And they're doing awesome. They really are. Star is stepping up. She uh, cut her leg. I know getting tearful with a stuffy head is not helping me. I know. But thank you and it has to be said so um star cut her leg she's back mended up she is on her way she is doing good and yeah he's got his team roping horse back his calf roping horse is not yet back but she gets the last of stitches out today and then he's gonna find out if he can ride her so yeah we're super stoked um rj's doing really good uh the truck i don't know if i mentioned that the truck was in the shop and he had my car well bad gas so yeah 
bad guess. Um, I don't know if I told you all that in the last video, but he was really kicking himself for that. You guys watch the gas, make sure that you're getting good um, diesel or gas or fuel because it will cost you in the long run. $500 worth of damage. Yep, hoses had to be replaced. Things had to be cleaned out. New fuel filter, which we change our fuel filter. Every other oil change. Okay, they say to put a mileage on it. But if you're doing your, um, I think it's like 10,000 miles, you're supposed to change it. If you're doing your oil changes at 3,000, it's 6,000 miles. And it's close enough. So we change ours more often. They actually said we could go three um, oil changes. It's too hard to keep track of. You remember the last oil change and if you change the fuel filter. So we just do every other one. We change it a little bit more often than we should. Guy said that shouldn't have happened. Um, for his, he found junk in it. He's like, yeah. RJ goes, that was just a brand new fuel filter with, he says, I did it my last oil change. And the guy was like, yeah, nope. So, yeah. It is what it is. But, alright. And then, there is one other thing that has been taking my time since Friday. Hitch, come on. You're, you're wiggling everything. Go on. Get. And, uh, let me see if I can reach it here. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Ready? <laughs> this little guy. This little guy. Look at that face. Yes. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember when Moose was this little. Um... But this little guy is, we weighed him when we got to the vet clinic, and he was one pound, nine ounces. And then I weighed him yesterday just for kicks, and he's one pound, 15 and a half ounces. So he's almost a two pounder now. Yep, he's sleepy. He's been out running and playing. But um, he had a play date Tuesday morning with his real brother and they played uh he does go in his kennel he stays in his kennel at night when he sleeps he's curling up on my lap in the office at, under my desk he goes under and willingly go, goes into his kennel um the day that we had the play day the owner of the other one asked me how i got him to do that we utilize the kennel for everything he rides in the car in the kennel he's in under my desk in the kennel sometimes he's not when he's under my desk if he's behaving he runs around and he plays and stuff but if he gets out of the gate and we get busy i have to put him back in the kennel um just to get him out of the way hitch and him are actually doing really good together uh, but in the beginning his kennel became a safe place because hitch got too carried away so we utilize the kennel for everything and that's why that's his safe place he'll go in and leave and just whatever I have it under my desk and sometimes he'll come out he'll play and then he'll go back in there and you know and people are like he goes in there on his own yes he does that's his place that's his his house huh and uh, so let's see. remember that he was gotten for my lap dog and so that's yeah he's my lap dog um so hitch isn't sure about him Oop, that's my hair uh isn't too sure he he started to play with him the first three days all i kept saying is hitch it's the same day same dang puppy same dang puppy roommate looked at me and said if you don't quit saying that puppy's gonna think that's its name so yeah but he has started um playing and that but you do have to watch it with hitch because he gets too rough he really does um quit see we're fussing right now because puppy's on my lap and hitch can't be so um hitch go or i'm gonna turn i'm gonna close the door quit um anyway so there's a not a whole lot of jealousy that goes on except for toys oh my goodness they steal each other's toys and that 
you have to really watch Hitch because he will come up and steal him and he'll be a little rough. So, yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I don't know of anything else. Today, um, I finished sanding all but one little section of the walls the other day. I don't know if I put it in a video or not. But today I'm going to paint the ceiling. We got the, the stuff for the house. I'm going to start painting the ceiling and then um, the walls. So I have all the paint. Just got to get out there and get it done. Uh, but I'm also in the process of planning a get-together for roommate's birthday, which is 4th of July. So I've got to get all the food today. <laughs> yeah. So I'm little overextended but the painting can actually wait um i've got the weekend to do that if i need to um and it doesn't have to be done before they get together so we just are having um some of roommates friends over roommates mom and dad my kids of course can't come because they're doing the whole rodeo thing and that and uh my daughter's got um some other things going on with her in-laws and so she's going there rj's out rodeoing um, yeah, I have to sneeze. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, oh, and I scared baby. So anyway, hopefully I'll have this stuff gone. Get the winners. Like I said, I was keeping up real good with it. And then I got this crud and I just can't. So I will get it done and we will post it in the next video. Um, yeah i will get it done i'm gonna get off here and i'm gonna get some painting done hopefully and get the groceries done and all that good stuff and get little one here into his kennel i didn't bring his kennel in and so he's falling asleep yeah all right i don't know what hitch is over there looking at what are you doing did you put yourself in the corner huh I have no idea. I have everything from the living room in here. He's sitting there looking. I don't know if you can see. He's just looking in that corner. Are you in the corner? Were you a bad dog? You're smiling. Yeah, you're still smiling, dog. <laughs> I don't know. He just put himself in the corner. Who knows? But... All right, we're going to get off of here, and I will see you guys next time, and hopefully I won't have this, and I'll be more organized, and actually might have some crochet to show you instead of just yarn. But anyway, thank you guys for all of the prayers and mojo for Coop, and I will see you next time.